The answer depends on how we define species itself, and the more we learn about Neanderthals, the more complex that question becomes. The traditional biological definition of species relies on reproductive compatibility. Members of the same species can produce fertile offspring together. By this measure, Neanderthals and modern humans were definitely the same species. We know this because their descendants walked among us, lived with us, and ultimately became us. But here's where the story takes an unexpected turn. Recent advances in ancient DNA analysis have revealed that the relationship between Neanderthals and modern humans wasn't a simple tale of conquest or replacement. It was a complex dance of migration, interaction, and integration that played out over tens of thousands of years. When the first modern humans began moving out of Africa around 70,000 years ago, they encountered Neanderthal populations that had been established in Europe and Western Asia for hundreds of millennia. These weren't brief hostile encounters between competing species. Archaeological evidence suggests the two groups coexisted in some regions for over a thousand years. Think about what a thousand years means in human terms. That's 40 generations of potential interaction, trade, cultural exchange, and yes, romance. The genetic evidence confirms what the timeline suggests. These weren't isolated incidents of interbreeding, but sustained contact between populations that saw each other as potential partners, not mortal enemies.